All right, today we're going to be doing a rear differential service on this 2008 Ford Explorer Sport Track with the 4 liter V6 rear wheel drive. As you can see, we have a pretty heavy leak at the rear gasket and at the pinion seal located right here between the drive shaft and where the differential starts. So we're going to go ahead and replace both of those, go over the cleaning procedure, cleaning out the actual inside of the differential while it's open and uh, reseal everything up and refill with fresh fluid. So this is going to be a pretty generic video that'll be for pretty much any vehicle that has a serviceable rear diff like this. But enough talk, let's get to it. All right, go ahead and start working on this uh, pinion seal. We got my breaker bar stuffed into the U-joint and underneath the leaf spring on the passenger side. We're gonna need to get something that got the uh, multiple teeth on there, the 12 point teeth. So I usually just use a gear wrench. Let's see if I can't break them loose. I almost forgot before disconnecting these, go ahead and put yourself some marks so that it can be lined back up again. A lot of debate on whether this matters or not having this lined up. I don't care. I'd rather be sure that it's done right than find out that it did matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. There goes my pry bar. And about the pry bar, this thing's gonna want to spin, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate it over here. All right, getting tired of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself another wrench so I can double wrench this for more leverage. <clears throat> nice. And last bolt. And with the drive shaft removed, we can go ahead and get to our pinion bolt right here. Ours is a 27 millimeter. Go ahead and remove that nut. And sometimes you can get lucky and that'll pop right out, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this nut on just a couple of spins. And we'll get that pry bar again. There we go. If you have a stubborn one of these, they do make pulley systems for them, but I don't see the point. You can just do stuff like that. All right, go ahead and get ourselves a tiny flathead screwdriver and start digging right where that seal meets the differential metal. Just give it some light taps. that up a little bit and then once we got it lifted up we can start working our way around And 
And after we have a big enough opening, I'll go ahead and switch over to my tiny pry bar. Start getting this thing over here. This thing is seized on. There it comes. There we go. And make sure you got yourself a catch can. Go ahead and remove our old seal. And we can go ahead and install our new seal by very gently walking our way around with the hammer. And slowly pressing this thing in. Go ahead and reinstall. Our nut. And put this down nice and tight. And spin our tires. We see that white mark again, and we can rotate our drive shaft. We have our white marks lined back up again. Go ahead and put our bolts down, starting each one of them first.
and go ahead and rotate to our last bolt. Stick our pry bar in. <clears throat> Put those down nice and tight and ready to move on to the rear differential seal. And for the rear differential gasket, we can start removing our half inch bolts. And for our last bolt, I'm going to unscrew it just a couple of turns. Like so. And then get ourselves a flathead screwdriver and start breaking that seal from underneath. And as you can see, this one's very, very worn out, and that's all it took to break it. I can just put my flathead screwdriver in here and crack this open the rest of the way, leaving that one bolt in. In fact, because I don't want it to break loose and start swinging, I'm gonna put one more bolt in on the opposite side, just a couple of turns, and that way I can break this loose. And there we go. Not a bad color, it's definitely worn out. Surprisingly, I don't see any shinies in there. If I do, there are very few. Let that finish draining out and we'll be back. All right, start cleaning this up with our wire wheel. Come back in here with some brake clean. Gunk off of here. Might need to use an entire can or two. Don't be stingy. Use as much as you need to to clean out this differential. Some spots you're probably gonna need to put your hand in there. Bet you some of that RTV came off while I was working around the gasket seal. We don't want to leave that stuff in the differential, obviously. And once you get one side looking nice and clean, go ahead and spin your tires. Boop. And work on the other side. And with the ring and pinion and the spider gears and everything else, basically from here down cleaned up, you normally want to start getting some rags and scooping this out. Me, I'm kind of lazy and I don't like getting dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and use my shop back. Get down and 
into this little groove right down here. Just get everything out of there that I can. And come in here with some more brake clean. And with our service nice and cleaned up, we're gonna come in here with some nice fresh black RTV. Put a nice bead. back in here go around each of the bolt holes Go ahead and reinstall 
Make sure you don't let this sit for very long before reinstalling. This needs to go on there pretty quickly before this RTV starts to harden. You definitely don't want that to happen. Let's go ahead and put our cover back into place. And start putting our bolts in. The first bolt I'm going to put down hand tight just because I want it to hold it nice and securely. The other ones I'm going to go ahead and just put them in a couple turns each. But no matter what, make sure you have all of your bolts in at least by hand a couple of threads before you start bolting anything down. And we're going to come in here with my little quarter inch impact, my little guy, and we're going to start putting this down in a crisscross fashion to evenly distribute the pressure onto that fresh new RTV. And the only thing you have left to do after this is to refill your differential. To do this, most vehicles have their differential fill plug right here in the back. And for most differentials, you would keep adding fluid until this started to spill out. But always check with your manufacturer or your part supplier to see how much fluid your differential is actually supposed to hold. For this vehicle, the 2008 Ford Explorer Sport Track, and here we have our rear axle lubricant, 75W30 synthetic at 3.5 pints or roughly 2.1 quarts. And there you have it. If you're at this spot, congratulations, you just serviced your rear differential. If you'd like to see more videos on this vehicle, go ahead and check out that video next. I made that one just for you. But other than that, if this video helped you out, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you all next time.